In March, the coronavirus pandemic forced schools and child care services here in Montgomery County to close. However, for many people, the need for child care soared. This week, the county council introduced an appropriation of more than seven and a half million dollars to aid child care providers in opening and also reopening those child care programs in public school buildings. We all realize that this this is an intersection literally of so many different needs from for the for the, the child, for for people who who are fortunate enough to, to be able to, to do work, to, to the people who are working inside their home, outside their home. I mean, everything that we're involving ourselves in and the additional help for those uh, young people who need academic support, all of that is, is a part of this. The funding will be broken down as reopening grants for full-day child care in MCPS buildings, as well as support for the tuition for school-age child care of low-income working families and children in foster care. So we know that the provider community is quite diverse, so it was important to include language um, to provide assistance in the application process for families, also for providers who might need some technical assistance, um, you know, preparing themselves to provide this kind of care. Um, I particularly thought the uh, component of foster care families, um, that was very important also. So I think this really is, um, in my opinion, a well-rounded package with what we did earlier um, in terms of providing assistance to our child care community. And I, and I believe that this will go a long way in helping so many other families. Child care providers that operate within Montgomery County Public Schools are running out of funds. Council President Katz says this funding is not only critical for those daycare providers, it also ties in with the economic health of the county. With that in mind, he says the council will work closely with the Department of Health and Human Services to make sure the money is distributed in a timely manner. But then you have the issue of how fast can you get the money in the person's hand, in the business's hand, that, that actually needs it, you know, that needs it to, to breathe to, to, to their lifeblood. So uh, we, we know that Health and Human Services is looking at it, figuring out what's the best way, the fastest way, so we'll give resources to, to help them as well. Funding for this support comes from the Federal CARES program. The council will hold a public hearing on the proposal September 29th. Reporting from Rockville, I'm Susan Kennedy.